Hi and welcome, I'm Lisa. Thanks for joining me for another card making tutorial. While I'm sharing this card making process, I'll be showing you a few of the newly released products from Whimsy Stamps. Plus, I'm sharing some updates on what's happening over here in my crafty corner of the world. Now, I'll get to that shortly, but for now, let's get started. This is Whimsy's newly released Nurses Day 4x6 Clear Stamp Set and Outline Dies. These items are sold separately. I have them linked down below in the description box along with the other items I use to create the cards in the video. The first step is to stamp out the images. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink onto Expressive Blend cardstock. This is just my preference. I recommend that you use the cardstock and ink that you prefer. Once we have these stamped, we'll take these to the die cutting machine and cut them out. Now I'm loving that Whimsies offer the dies for the stamp set. I prefer dies even over my scan and cut. It's just a personal preference. I'm going to get started with the coloring process and then we'll chat a little bit about what's happening over here in my corner of the world. I'm starting with my darkest skin tone, E13, and laying this color down where I envision the darkest shadows. I want to take a minute to mention that I actually have three of the nurses colored. You'll see that shortly. The coloring process working from dark to light is the same. So take this process and use darker or lighter colors and color your nurse any color you desire. I lay down the E13 on the bottom side of her arms and hands and I'm working it around her eyes, the eyelash area, the outer area of her forehead and cheeks. I'm going to follow that with E11 and I'm ever so slightly going to overlap my E11 over the E13 that I just laid down. Bringing the E11 color out further into my image area to start filling that in just a little bit and blending in with that E13. So while I continue coloring, I want to chat for just a few seconds. Some of you may be aware that this coming Saturday, January 15th, I will be opening an online shop. This calls for confetti. I will be selling confetti mixes along with a couple of other items for shaker cards. And eventually we're going to have some more interactive items for cards. Now, your first thought was probably just what we need more confetti mixes. <laughs> I'm just going to ask you to check it out because these are my mixes. I get it. I do. <laughs> you won't find these mixes anywhere other than the Whimsy Stamps online shop. They will be carrying a few of my mixes along with the exclusive mixes I create for them. So I feel very blessed to have this opportunity and I'm honored that Whimsy has asked me to create exclusive mixes for them. With all of that said, I will continue to be bringing content to you here on my Confetti and Cards channel and over on the Whimsy Stamps channel. I want to continue sharing my love of card making and crafting with you and I hope that you'll continue to join me. So let's get back to the coloring process. I went ahead and I finished coloring out the image with E21. I blend out the E11 and just fill in the rest of the areas with that E21. I'm coloring her lips with R29 and her stethoscope, I'm gonna color black. Now let's talk about her hair. For her hair, I envision lots of ringlets. It's very curly. I'm starting with Y26 and I'm just tracing around her face to create some shadow and depth. So laying down a very fine line with that Y26 around her face. To create the ringlets, I'm going to start on that Y26 line that I just laid down and I'm going to work outward from there. I'm creating tiny continuous loops. Think about writing a lower case letter E in cursive multiple times without lifting your pen. That's the motion I use to create the ringlets. Now you're going to continue laying down the ringlets using Y21 and Y32, filling in most of the hair. You wanna leave a little bit of white there that adds some highlights. So a tip is to let the different colors overlap in areas and that helps create dimension. 
So there you can see the three images are colored and die cut and I'm stamping a fourth image onto Eclipse masking tape. I'm going to use this so I can do some stamping with a micro pattern stamp set to create patterns on their scrubs. So that's going to bring us to your must know tips for masking die cut images. Once you stamp the image onto the masking paper and start fussy cutting the image out, you need to be sure you leave excess masking around the stamped image so that when you're stamping the pattern onto the scrub top, we don't stamp outside the lines. So I find it easiest to only remove the areas where I want to stamp. And when removing those areas, leave the rest of the image intact as best as possible. I promise this will make things so much easier on you. So I'm going to mask the rest of the image off so that I can stamp my pattern onto her top. So this brings me to tip number two. Stamp with an ink that is friendly for your coloring medium. I colored with Copic markers, so I'm stamping with Memento ink because chances are you're going to have some areas along the masking that, that isn't going to stamp. And by using an ink that is friendly to your coloring medium, and this is going to bring me to tip number three, you can bring your pens, pencils, or markers in and fill those areas in. Now let's remove the masking paper to reveal our image, and you'll see I have that nice crisp white area around my stamped image, and I think these are the cutest images with those patterned scrub tops. So here are the three images finished. I colored the clipboards and shoes to match their top, a warm gray W1 to add a little bit of shading to the pant area. For my first card, I'm using the large thank you sentiment included in the Nurses Day stamp set to create a rainbow sentiment background. I have an A2 110 pound card base laid in the mini misty so I can just slide it down while I stamp out each of the colors of the rainbow. Foam adhesives to the back of the image and sentiment and then add that to the card and that's going to wrap up card one and move us into card number two. Now for this card, I'm using the small heart with a medical cross in the center. That stamp is included in the Nurses Day stamp set as well. And I'm going to cover my card base with this image to create a quick and simple background. Again, using my alcohol marker friendly ink to stamp the background, I stamp from left to right across the card base and I offset the next row and I continue stamping the entire background in this pattern. Now I choose to use an acrylic block because I find it's much quicker and I don't sweat the small things. If it's not absolutely perfect, that's okay. If this approach stresses you out, then please grab your stamp positioning tool and use it. Remember, this is supposed to be fun, not stressful, and what works for me may not work for you and that's okay. So now that I have that background stamped out, I'm using my Copic RV09 marker to color the crosses in the center of the hearts, and I'm only going to color every other row. Now, the nurse's cap is included in the outline dies, and I wanted to share that with you. The stamp set has a small medical cross that you can stamp on the cap. I'm using my marker to darken that up before I add that to my nurse. It's such a fun and super cute touch, that little nurse's cap. So this is the Fantabulous stamp set, and now you can grab the outline dies to go with it. I am so excited for this die set. I have a product reveal over on the Whimsy Stamps channel. You can check it out by clicking up here. I thought it would be a great addition to my card, so off screen I stamped and die cut the word incredible. Now I stamped the rest of the sentiment onto some white cardstock from the Nurses Day stamp set and just trimmed it with my paper trimmer. Added foam adhesives to the back of all of my pieces to add those to the card. That's wrapping up card number two, moving us into the third and final card. This is the easiest of the three. Using a piece of leftover pattern paper from the Starring Hearts paper pack, adding tape to the back side, lining it up on the left side of my card and trimming away the excess. 
we add foam adhesives to the back of our image and our stamped and die cut sentiment. Add that to the card and that wraps up card number three. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, for more information on the products you've seen in this video, you can click the links in the description box directly below. And I appreciate you so much for spending time with me today. Until next time, please take care.